Yay, it worked. Save $580 DIY spark plugs by myself. Here's the old spent ones. Look at how funky they are. That's 120,000 miles of iridium tip spark plug there. Fried, ready to change. 2010 Toyota Prius. Do it yourself. Believe in yourself. Just a few tools and you can do it. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button. Now you can watch how I did it. We're going to start by removing the windshield wiper blade arms with the wipers. You don't have to remove that cover. I did. Wish I didn't. But use a 14 millimeter socket. Remove the passenger side one. Remove the driver's side one. Pop it off. It's spring loaded. Be careful with it. Now there's two little panel clips on each side. Just press the little dimple down. Pop those out. Now you're gonna unclip. Use a screwdriver. You can just unclip this cowling and take it out. Now we're gonna start undoing. There's 12 10 millimeter bolts holding this assembly and four holding the windshield wiper blade driver. So go ahead and undo those, but start by taking this wiring loom. There's little nylon bushings holding that wiring loom for the drive motor. Go ahead and undo those. You're gonna just disconnect those. Now start working on those 10 millimeter bolts again. You're gonna undo them. There's 12 of them, nine across the panel, and then three holding a bracket in the middle. Make sure to undo that metal bracket in the middle. That's what I'm working on there. And then um, go ahead and take these different bolts out of this one. Here, keep those separate. They're different. And then gently lift that assembly to the side. You need it out of the way. Just like, let it right down right there. And take the rest of those 10 millimeter bolts out of that lower assembly and just remove them all and set them aside. Keep your bolts in order. Now, uh, get that bracket in the middle. Take that bracket out. There it goes. And then lift this part up. That'll give you some clearance. Now you're going to be disconnecting the wires from the spark plug coil, ignition coil. So just pop those off, squeeze the edge, you can use a screwdriver to help unclip those. Then use a 10 millimeter, take the retainer bolt out. And pull the, pull the ignition coils out. There's four of them. Just remove them all. Now use your 9 16 socket tool and take that old, look at that funky old one. Take it out. Put a new one in, nice and clean. Hand tight it first, then torque it down to spec. Some say 13 foot pounds, I did it 20. Nice and snug. Don't overdo it, it's aluminum, you can damage it. Here you're gonna Put your ignition coil back. I took one out, put the new spark plug in, put the ignition coil back. Just do them one at a time. Put that 10 millimeter bolt back in there. Snug tight, about eight foot pounds, 10 foot pounds, something like that. Don't overdo it, it's plastic. We're gonna take the next one out. Just do it with your hand. I, I taped my sections together so they wouldn't come undone. I'm using multiple attachments. Just um, use your torque wrench or breaker bar, whatever you have, ratchet. Undo that that old one. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're trying to turn counterclockwise to remove the old spark plug. You eventually get it. Just keep working at it like this. You'll feel it on thread. There it goes. And we'll put a new one in there. And then uh, load the new one in, just like that. And hand tight it first. You want to snug it down with your hand. Just keep rotating that. You're going to 
then use your torque wrench and torque it down. Don't overdo the torque, it's an aluminum head. You can damage the head. They say 13 foot pounds in one part and 20 pounds in another. Ah, you could go in between. I'd do it until my torque wrench clicks. 20 is the lowest setting on that wrench. Just keep doing this. You're going to remove the old one, install the new one, and then do them in order. That keeps junk out of the holes. You take one out, put one in, put everything back together, tighten it down, plug it back in. Just there it goes. You just keep doing it one after the other. There's only four. That's inline fours like this. Transverse inline fours. Very easy to work on. Uh, yeah, removing that upper cowling. Thanks, Toyota. That's annoying. They didn't do that on the second gen Prius. I have no idea about the fourth gen Prius. But yeah, the third gen Prius, there's all kinds of stuff on top. Thankfully, you only have to do this every 120,000 miles. Old one, new one. Take those burn spark plugs out. Put some fresh ones in. Makes your engine run nicer, actually. Just uh, tighten everything up. I'm using a combination of tools here. And now we're going to test it. Listen to the weird noise it makes when you open the door. That's a pump or a valve moving. When you turn it on, it's going to make all kinds of weird noises, and the engine won't come on at first. But then, when the hybrid drivetrain detects that it's about to be driven, you hear a weird noise, and then, boom, it comes to life. Well, congratulations, it worked. I'm glad, because it put it all back together for testing. You might test it before 